Hello, and welcome to OCU Sidelines, Oklahoma City University's student-produced sports podcast, giving you the stats and stories of our stars. I'm Madison Bailey. Here's what's coming up on today's cast. We will be joined by cross-country athletes for our rapid-fire segment. We'll catch up on all the scores. We'll hear from Nick Bonifay on his greatest sports moment. We'll find out what it's like to play during COVID with our very own PJ Grooms. And Stars guard Ryan Leach will take us along on his weekend vibes. But first, my co-hosts, Katie Connor and Keelan Claiborne, join us for the Huddle Up with guests RJ Walker and Sierra Foster. Thanks, Madison. Welcome to Huddle Up. Joining us today is RJ Walker and Sierra Foster from our men's and women's wrestling team. Thank you guys for being here with us today. We're looking forward to getting to know the personalities under the uniforms. Uh, so how long have you guys been wrestling and what got you guys into it? Um, I have been wrestling since I've been six, so 13 years, 14 years, math. Um, <laughs> Uh, I started be. wrestling because I was always at the tournaments um, and I was like, you know what? This seems pretty cool. I'm going to do this. Do your but brothers also, do it? Is that yeah, my brother did it. Um, and so then when I turned six, I was like, yeah, I'm going to wrestle. And my mom's like, no, you're not. And my dad's like, well, let's let her try. Let's <laughs> let's let her practice. <laughs> and then I cradled someone my first practice. Uh, and then I won my first tournament and my mom's like, well, we're in it. We're in it for life now. <laughs> We're stuck. We're yep. going all the yeah. way. That's dope. <laughs> what yeah. about you, RJ? Me? So I basically came out of the womb wrestling. So my dad wrestled in high school, and my mom's dad, so my grandpa, uh, was my dad's high school coach. And then my dad was an uh, All-American at NEO up in Miami. Yeah, well, like I said, legacy. I'm, yeah, I'm, 20, I'm, I'm 22, <laughs> so basically been doing it for that long. Basically been in a wrestling room ever since I could walk. So why did y'all choose OCU? Why did you attend OCU? You? Um, I knew, well, OCU's women's wrestling program has always been very good. Yeah. Um, and I was deciding between Simon Fraser and Oklahoma City University. And it just came down to that Simon Fraser was too close to home. <laughs> <laughs> My parents could drive to me. Isn't that in Canada? Yes. Yeah. She wanted to run away. Yeah. That's so I was. I was like, you know what? OCU. Um, and you know what, it's, it's been a pretty good fit and I met my best friend, so I'm pretty happy with my decision. Yeah. I, you guys are nuts. I came to OCU, uh, so actually I'm a, Jim Abbott's probably going to hate me for this, but I'm a big, big Alabama fan, been Ooh. a Nick Saban fan since I could, since I could remember. And, uh, yeah. so that was, I was, I was wanting to go there mm -hmm. and, uh, was actually going to go there for football. And then I got a scholarship here. And then, like I said, I just wanted to do wrestling over football and uh, loved the decision I made. And I ended up getting basically a full ride academic scholarship to go here. And then it was close to home, but also like far enough. I like I think my freshman year, I went home like out of both semesters. I probably went home probably a total of like five or six times and I was just 20 minutes down the road. <laughs> And so I was like, right, I was yeah. like, I'm, I'm on campus. I'm living on campus. I was like, there's really no point in me to go home. I was like, I've been at home for 18 home. years. Right. I was like, I've been at home for 18 years. I, my parents, <laughs> yeah, they'll be good. Yeah, she chose a different state. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, her parents got to fly in <laughs> to come see her. <laughs> she got to fly back. Out. She's got time to prepare, clean the dorm room. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I know. I'll get a call. My mom, she's like, hey, I'm outside. And I'm like, uh... <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> Shut everything out of the quick, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. So, what you guys do? Any like uh, weird the the weird warm up rituals, like superstitions, right before a match? Yeah, I'm ready to hear this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, before a match, you usually know. So, if you're on deck, that means that there's one match wrestling, and then you're after that. And mm. if you're in the hole, you're after you're on deck. So, there's basically two matches out. So, when I get called into the hole, I pace and I have my shorts and my t-shirt on and my singlets on, but like down. And then when I get called on deck, that's when I take off my shorts and I pull up my singlet, but, and then I pace faster. And then I take off my shirt when I'm, I'm on the map. But that's pretty much it for me. I'm There's no like special key. music you gotta yeah. have blaring. No. Or you gotta watch your favorite movie. Ooh, night. No, I'm, I no. used, well, when I was younger, I used to have these princess socks. 
that I always have to wear. There you go. And then my mom would, I'd be like, Mom, I cannot wrestle. I need my princess <laughs> socks. Um, but since I've grown out of those, kind of grown out of that as well. She's getting in the zone. She's trying to, that's like hardcore intimidation. Like no music, nothing. I'm just gonna yeah. stare at you the whole yeah. time. I'm pacing here I'm just locked in. Like, a, like an animal in a cage. I'm coming for you, man. Yeah. It's kind of funny because like whenever I was younger, I had these, I had like these long pink socks. Uh, one of my teammates, Chase Vincent, me and him actually wrestled each other like a few, I like once or twice growing up. And uh, he actually remembered like wrestling me because I wore the pink socks. But like now I don't do that. Like it's kind of funny because People listen to like, you know, like basically like music that basically gets them in mm -hmm. the in that zone. Like if it's like like rap music, like rock music. Yeah. But me, like I don't I like people I'm pacing back and forth. I got my game face on and I'm bumping like some old school George Straight country music. <laughs> just to, Cause it, it calls my it like yeah. lowers my heart rate. It keeps my heart rate down. Yeah. And so I'm walking back and forth, like bobbing my head and then People are like, oh, yeah, he's grooving. I got George Strait or Travis Tritt playing in my headphones. And so we're not time, in Oklahoma uh, at all. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right before the match is over, literally like seconds before the match is over, then I'll take my shirt off and pull my singlet up, put my headgear on. And then I do kind of like a like a squat jump. And then as I'm coming down, I like stomp my feet on the ground and then kind of just to like get those last jitters out. Cause me, I get really nervous before matches. It's just like the yeah. kind of like yeah. like big games, big yeah. matches. I treat every match like it's a big match, yeah. and I get like real stiff, real nervous, and so I try to get those nerves out. And so then literally try to stay calm. Yeah, you know. yeah, exactly. I just pictured those like what are the, those like Hawaiian fight dances? I just see him on the side like oh the haka, yeah, the yeah, haka, yeah. Like, yeah. That's what I see. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. I just like I treat it. It's kind of like. Uh, I'm in the movies. I don't know if y'all seen the movie 300 yes. about Leonidas. And Who hasn't I kinda, seen this? Sparta. Yeah, that's literally, that's literally how I treat it. Like, you know, whenever I'm walking out onto the mat, I'm like, I kind of say in my head, I'm like, this is Sparta. And then I go out and then as soon as I put my, as soon as I put my foot on the line, then it's like all nerves go away. And it's like game time. If, it's I'm, just, if I'm a wrestler, I'm watching maybe Rocky or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get right. I'm yeah. Like, Think about what movie he's been trying to do. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so real quick, who is who is your like? You only got to pick one. Real quick, off the top of your head, who's your idol? Clarissa Chun. Ah! Jordan Burroughs. All right, there you go. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here with us. Uh, you know, nice little quick. Hopefully, you guys got to know a little bit more about our student athletes here. Yeah. And the fact that we are solidifying Oklahoma stereotype of being yeah. country. <laughs> so rock it out. So okay, guys. Thanks so much again for being here. We're gonna head out. All right, ready? Three, two, one, break. Let's go back in time in OCU athletics. Time for this week's trivia question. Hall of Famer Jim Wade played which sports for OCU? Stay tuned and we'll tell you the answer at the end of the show. Hi, and thanks for joining us for Rapid Fire. Contestants will have to answer as many of the questions as they can within 30 seconds. Welcome Sue Hare Talby, Noah Skibstead, Will Farr, and Carson Breckenridge. Starting us off will be Sue Hare Talby. Texting or talking? Talking. Favorite day of the week? Friday. Favorite city in the U.S.? New York. Any nickname? Nothing. <laughs> Last song you downloaded? Uh, I can't remember. Favorite holiday? Uh, Christmas. In a scale of 1 to 10, how good of a driver you are? 10. At what age you want to retire? 60 years. Invisible or super strength? Super strength. It's a run for vegetarians to eat animal crackers? Yes. We're here with Noah. He's in the track team, and we're going to do the 30-second rapid-fire question. How you doing today, Noah? I'm doing good, thanks. Talking or texting? Texting. Favorite day of the week? Friday. Favorite city in the U.S.? Miami. Any nickname? Skip steps. Last song you downloaded? Can't remember. Favorite holiday? Uh, Christmas. A scale of 1 to 10, how good of a driver you are? 10. At what age do you want to retire? 65. Invisible or super strength? Super strength. Who has a easier, man or woman? Men. Uh, first celebrity crush? Uh, Beyonce. Thanks to Hare and Noah for your rapid fire answers. And get ready, Will, because in 3, 2, 1, go. Texting or talking? Texting. Favorite day of the week? Friday. Favorite city in the U.S.? San Diego. Any nickname? Two point. The last song you downloaded? Jump round. Favorite holiday? 
Christmas. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good of a driver are you? 8. At what age do you want to retire? 60. Invisible or super strength? Invisible. Is it wrong for a vegetarian to eat animal crackers? No. First celebrity crush? Mila Kunas. Favorite number? 8. Who has it easier, men or women? Men. All right, Carson, no pressure. You're up. Ready, set, go. Texting or talking? Talking. Favorite day of the week? Friday. Favorite city in the U.S.? New Orleans. Any nickname? No. Last song you downloaded? California Love. Favorite holiday? Christmas. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good of a driver are you? A 12. (laughs) At what age do you want to retire? Now. (laughs) Invisible or super strength? Invisible. Is it wrong for vegetarians to eat animal crackers? No. First celebrity crush? Selena Gomez. Favorite number? Four. Who has it easier, men or women? Men. And today's winner is everybody, because it's your opinion. Madison, have you heard about our most recent stars news? I sure have, but let's tell our listeners. For men's golf, David Myers led the stars to a third place team standing in the Texas Intercollegiate on Monday. Mackenzie McCoy led the women's golf team with a top score in the Southern Nazarene Invitational on Monday as well. The women's volleyball team remains undefeated this season in sack play, winning all three sets against Central Christian on Tuesday. Standout efforts come from the juniors Kennedy Bartling and Sophia Solok, with Solok breaking 30 assists this season. Stars Volleyball is ranked 16th in the NAIA. The women's soccer team secured a win against Houston Victoria Tuesday, with Bailey Webb scoring the winning goal after Lindsey Spears' assist. Men's soccer remains undefeated thus far and took Houston Victoria to a draw after two overtime periods. Neither team scored during the game. Congrats to all our stars. Now let's hear from our own Sean Coleman and his guest Nick Bonifay of the OCU men's basketball team on his greatest sports moment. We're playing in the championship game of a Christmas tournament my junior year in high school. And we were down eight with a minute and a half to go. And I got a layup and a three, and we were kind of going back and forth, so we were kind of catching up. And then with eight seconds left, it was their ball, and we were down two. And my teammate got a steal, and I ran to the opposite corner and hit a three as the buzzer was going off. So I hit a buzzer beater to win the championship game of that Christmas tournament. And it was, it was kind of cool because, you know, we all – try and hit that buzzer beater in the driveway while we're just shooting with ourselves to, to actually do that and to win the game it was pretty cool. The play before I was pumped up, revved up, ready to uh, make a play because we had come back from eight with such little time and so I was really thinking we had a chance to win this game so I was ready to make a play and see what happened. After the hit the buzzer beater and won the game it was it was uh, I felt real good. The whole team came off the bench and we were all celebrating because we won the tourney so it was good feeling. While we enter March again, this has been a crazy year of hand sanitizer, masks, and social distancing. COVID has affected every part of our lives, but what has it been like for our student athletes? Here is PJ Grooms to discuss his personal experience of playing basketball during a worldwide pandemic. Playing during a pandemic has been an adjustment for all athletes at OCU. Sports were put on pause because of COVID-19. Protocols and rules were put into place so sports could continue. Being a part of OCU men's basketball was a challenge this year as many changes happened. Masks, small practices, limited practices, no fans, and consistent COVID tests were mandatory for us to do what we love. With loving a sport, there will always be constant adjustments and changes. This was one of the most difficult things we had to do because most of us had never had to make so many weird changes just to play basketball. Half of the season was taken away due to the virus, but because of following COVID safety directions, we were granted to play eight games this season. Playing with no fans and having to deal with a mask may not be one of the most fun ways to play or what OCU basketball is used to, but we took it head on. While playing on the court, we're never thinking about COVID as long as we get to do what we love and we are safe. One positive test result could change so much on the team and have you sitting out for weeks, so being able to adjust and adapt to anything was key. This year was a year like no other, a year I will never forget. Hopefully COVID will go away and life can be back to normal. 
Until then, OCU men's basketball team and other OCU sports will unite and adjust to do we love. Reporting for OCU Sidelines, I am PJ Grooms. Thanks, PJ. And now for everyone's favorite segment, The Weekend Vibes, with this week's special guest. What's good? This is Ryan Leach. I'm a senior, also a shooting guard on the Oklahoma City men's basketball team. And I'm here to tell you all about my weekend vibes. Man, usually a typical Friday, I'm basically going to be on the video games for about two, three hours. I get out of class early that day. Then around six, seven o'clock, might hit the mall. Uh, we usually go out on Saturday night. Sometimes we go out on Friday nights. So usually when me and my friends, we trying to decide, we're going to hit the mall or should we just go straight out tonight? Definitely got to get a haircut if we ain't got one yet. Uh, usually we take care of that uh, earlier during the week. But yeah, that's a typical Friday night. What's the mood this weekend, bro? Yeah, so usually around 9 or 10 is when I start getting ready. Uh, usually when we get to the club, they're going to play everybody, but usually before I go out, I like to listen to Lil Baby, of course, Drake, Uzi, uh, Polo G, Lil Dirk, you know, just something to get me in the mood. So usually we all get dressed. I'm probably either rocking like definitely some jeans with some rips in them, black, blue, you know, maybe a jean jacket, you know, something to go with it. Um, and then, yeah, man, then especially when we're traveling, it's just time to relax and chill. We might have a couple time, a couple hours where we're at the hotel room, but between that and the warm ups, the you see, we'll probably wake up about seven eat the breakfast at the hotel. They usually have good kind of mini breakfast. Then we go to warm up around eight. We're there for about two, three hours. We come back at 11, take about a two hour nap. Then at two o'clock, we leave the hotel, we go to the gym. So it's really not much time to do much else. You know what I'm saying? We're just really trying to relax that time. But when we are at the hotel, it's just us. We playing 2K, Fortnite, you know, we chilling, watching movies, just relaxing, getting our mind ready for the game. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Time for the trivia answers. Hall of Fame Jim Wade played which sports for OCU? Jim Wade played basketball, baseball, and football for OCU. Let's take a look at some upcoming dates for our OCU stars. Palm and Cheer are taking their A game to the NAIA Championships in Davenport, Iowa, Friday and Saturday after achieving the highest score in the qualifier round for the fifth time in a row. Wrestling competes in an NAIA Invitational in Jamestown, North Dakota on Friday and Saturday. Softball faces off with Southwestern Christian on Friday at the SCU Field and battles against Bethany at home Saturday at the Ann Lacey Field. Baseball takes on LSU Shreveport at the LSU Field with a doubleheader on Friday and Saturday. Women's soccer goes against John Brown away in Arkansas on Saturday. Men's soccer competes Saturday against the same. On Sunday, men's and women's soccer go head-to-head -head with the cone at home on the Brian Harvey Field. I don't know about you, Katie, but I'm excited to watch our stars shine. Me too, Madison, and we hope you all are too. Thanks for joining us on this week's OCU Sideline. I definitely had fun getting to go beyond just the X's and O's. Me too, Keelan. Stick around for more from OCU Sidelines on all things sports. From everyone here on our team, including myself, Madison, Keelan, PJ, Sean, Kendall, Sayer, and David, we hope you had fun listening. We'll see you on the sidelines next time.